Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up your MIDI controller in Pro Tools. Connect your MIDI controller to your computer and make sure the MIDI controller is on. Then start the Pro Tools app. Now click on the Setup tab at the top left of the Pro Tools window. And click on MIDI on the pop-up menu. Then click on MIDI Input Devices. Your MIDI controller should be shown in the MIDI Input Enable pop-up window. If there is no tick in the tick box to the left of the MIDI controller name, click on the tick box. Then click on OK. For the basic MIDI controls, that's it. Your MIDI controller will now work in Pro Tools. But for MIDI controllers with extra MIDI controls, like play and record buttons, you will need to set it up as a peripheral. You may also need to check how to install your MIDI controller correctly on your computer in your MIDI controllers manual before trying to set it up as a peripheral. So click on the Setup tab again. And click on Peripherals on the pop-up menu. At the top of the pop-up Peripherals window, click on the MIDI Controllers tab. Now click on the drop list that says None in the Type column. Then click on a controller type on the pop-up menu that is suitable for your MIDI controller. For my Nectar Pacer, I need to click on M Audio Keyboard. Now click the next drop list to the right in the Receive From column. And click on Predefined on the pop-up menu. Then click on the input for your MIDI controller. For my Nectar Pacer, it's MIDI IN 2 Pacer. Next, click on the next drop list to the right in the Send To column. Then click on Predefined on the pop-up menu. Now click on the output for your MIDI controller. For my Nectar Pacer, it's MIDI OUT 2 PACER. Finally, click on OK at the bottom right of the pop-up window. By default, virtual instrument tracks are automatically set to input all MIDI from all connected MIDI controllers. But if you have more than one MIDI controller, you might want to choose which MIDI controller each virtual instrument track responds to. To select your MIDI controller on a virtual instrument track, click on the Window tab at the top left of the Pro Tools window. Then click on Mix on the pop-up menu. If the MIDI input section at the top of the mixer strip is hidden. Click on the Mixer View Settings icon at the bottom left of the mixer pane. Then click on the tick box to the left of Instrument on the pop-up menu. Now click on the drop list below the word Instrument at the top of the Virtual Instrument Mix Strip. And click on Predefined on the pop-up menu. Then click on the name of your MIDI controller. And click on 
all channels. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.